You're right guys, today I'm going to show you some of the ways I use samples within the Eurorack modular. In these examples I'm going to be using ALM Squid Salample, but you could do these tricks using most other Eurorack samplers and even within Ableton or your DAW or something like Simpler. Before we start, here's a quick example of a patch I made that uses all of these tricks. <laughs> Channel 8 of the Squid Salonpour, I've loaded in a sample, which is just a collection of Foley sounds. Here's what that sounds like. So what I'm going to do is use the Squid Salonpour's automatic cue points, which are designed to like slice drum tracks into their transients, but works really well on these kind of sounds too, where there are sort of transients within the sample. So you can see that split that into slices or with a different section of the sample in. I'm gonna send that a sequence of gates from the BeatStep Pro. Now that's okay, but I'd like to sort of skip around between these cue points. So I'm gonna use the random cue point selection in the squid salon pole. Need to rein that in a bit to make it a bit more usable, so I'm going to send it through the Make Noise LXD. Then trigger the strike input of the LXD with the same gate sequence as we're triggering the squid salon pole. Now that's starting to sound a lot more usable. To give it a bit of context, let's add a bass drum. I'm just going to use plats. And then I'm going to add a snare from Basimilisiteritis Alter. So you can see that's already really starting to come together. To add a little bit more interest, I'm gonna uh, modulate the bit depth of the squid salon pool using a random stepped output coming from Pamela's new workout. Here's how that sounds. Maybe try more of a floor on the floor rhythm. So you can see how really quickly there we get into something that's uh, adding a lot of texture and depth to a beat. Here's another example of a similar trick. I've got a beat that I made on the modular. It, it really needs some more details to make it pop out a bit into something that I'd really use. On channel one of the Squid Salon Pool, I've got a sample that's just a load of different hits um, from Japanese Taiko drums. I'm going to use the Squid Salon Pool's automatic cue points again and then set the cue point selection to random. Here's what that sounds like when I send it a sequence of gates. Maybe I can tidy that up by adding a slight decay envelope. Here's what it sounds like when I mix it back in with the rest of that beat. So for this tip, I've got a beat ready. Here it is. Which sounds cool, but I wanted to take it to the next level. So what I've done is just record the whole beat as a sample into channel three of the Squid Silent Pool. So here's what that sounds like. Nothing too exciting, but look what happens when I reverse it and then send it a sequence of gates from the BeatStep Pro. Now, that's kind of cool, but you know, it's not really going to help you get to a whole track. But look what happens when I mix that in with the rest of the original beat. The reversed sample really adds something else. Another thing you can do to play with that is just 
slightly alter the end point of the sample so that every time it gets triggered, it's playing from a slightly different position. You can create some really cool grooves that way.